हेलो स्कॉलर्स वेलकम बैक आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आर न्यू यूनिट दैट इज यूनिट थ्री स्पोर्ट्स इन दिस यूनिट वी विल लर्न अबाउट वेरियस स्पोर्ट्स इवेंट कंडक्टेड इन द वर्ल्ड सो लेट एस स्टार्ट with our first exercise in this unit so scholars here is our exercise number 16 rio olympics 2016 the 31st olympic games were organized at rio de janeiro in brazil from 5 to 21st august 2016 Can you answer the following questions about this biggest sporting event of the world? So, here we have to answer the questions related to Rio Olympics 2016. So, let us start with our question number 1. Rio Olympics were the first to be held in South American continent. True or false? it is false now our question number 2 is what was the mascot of the rio olympics what is a mascot do you know that a mascot is a person or a thing that is supposed to bring good luck especially when it is linked to a organization or event so the mascot of the rio olympics was vinicius now we'll move to our question number 3 which country topped the medal tally at the rio olympics the answer is usa at the end of the rio olympics usa remained firmly at the top of the medal tally with 121 medals Now let's see our question number 4 which player won a silver medal for India in badminton at the Rio Olympics The answer is PV Sindhu Do you know the full name of PV Sindhu It is Pusarla Venkat Sindhu Now we'll see our question number 5 in which sport did Sakshi Malik win a bronze medal for India. The answer is wrestling. Now let's see question number 6. Which sport is Deepa Karmakar associated with? Do you know this? Yes, you are right. It is gymnastic. Now we'll see our question number 7. How many medals did India win at the Rio Olympics? The answer is 2 medals. So write it here. Now we'll see our last question. Which sports person won the maximum number of gold medals at the Rio Olympics? The answer is Michael Phelps. He won Twenty-eight Olympic medals, the most ever. So, like this, we have completed this exercise. Now, we'll see our next exercise. So, scholars, here is our exercise number seventeen. That is, twenty twenty cricket. Twenty twenty is the latest format of cricket where each innings consists of twenty overs only. Let's learn about some newly formed 2020 records by filling in the following blanks. So let us start with our question number 1. Dash has the record of fastest 50 of 12 balls which he made with 6 six sixes in an over of Stuart Board in 2007 ICC 2020 World Cup. I guess you know the answer. Yes, you are right. He is Yuvraj Singh. He hit 6 sixes 
in six consecutive balls against England in the ICC 20 in the ICC T20 World Cup in 2007. Now let's see our question number two. Dash of India and Dash of South Africa hold the joint record for fastest hundred of just 35 balls. The answer is Rohit Sharma of India and David Miller of South Africa hold the joint record for fastest hundred of just 35 balls. Now let's move to our next question. As on 31st August 2017, Dash of New Zealand has scored highest number of runs in the 2020 cricket. The answer is Brendan Macklem. Now we'll see our question number four. Dash holds the record of winning a 2020 match by the highest margin of 172 runs. It achieved this record playing against Kenya in 2007. The answer is Sri Lanka. Now we'll see our question number 5. Dash is the only Pakistani bowler who took a hat-trick while playing against Sri Lanka in 2017. This bowler was Fahim Ashraf. So write the name here. Now let's move to question number 6. Dash of Pakistan holds the record of maximum number of stumpings that is 32 stumpings in 53 innings by a wicket keeper. The answer is Kamran Akmal. Now let's see question number 7. Dash of Australia holds the record of scoring the highest runs that is 156 by an individual in a 2020 innings. He made this record against England in 2013. The answer is Aaron Finch. Now we'll see our last question. Dash of Australia currently holds the record of hitting most sixes that is 14 in an innings. That is again Aaron Finch. So he has two records in his name. So like this we have completed this exercise also. Now let's move to the next. So scholars here is our exercise number 18 that is sports quiz. Here we have to tick right the correct answer. So let us start with our question number 1. How many people can ride a tandem bicycle at a time? The correct answer is 2. Now let's move to question number 2. Which martial art form literally means art of kicking and punching in the Korean language? Do you know this? Yes, you guessed it right. It is Taekwondo. Please put a right tick here. Taekwondo is a Korean term in which Tai means legs for kicking and smashing. Kon means hands for blocking and punching and Do means the way. Now we'll see our question number 3. In which game is the term deuce used? The answer is tennis. Put a right tick here. The deuce term is used in tennis when there is a tie. Now we'll see our question number 4. What is the maximum age to participate in an Olympic event? The answer is no age limit. There is no age limit to participate in any of the Olympic events. 
Now we'll see our question number five. The biggest team sport in the world is played in India. What is its name? The answer is snake boat race. Have you ever seen this snake boat race? Yes, that is played in South India and there are 110 players at a time. Now, we'll see our question number 6. Which was the first sport to be played in the space? The answer is chess, option C. Now, here is our question number 7. How many Ranji Trophy matches must one play to represent India in the national cricket team? The answer is none. Option B. There is no need to play any of the Ranji Trophy matches to represent India in the national cricket team. Now let's see question number 8. Who is the youngest cricketer to score a century in the test cricket? The options are Bran Lara, Mohammad, Ashraful, Sachin Tendulkar. The answer is Mohammad Ashraful. He is the youngest cricketer to score a century in the test cricket. Now we will see our question number 9. In which sport can there be a night watchman? Do you know this? Yes, it is in cricket. Now we have reached to the last question of this exercise. Name the Indian athlete who recently won a gold medal at the World Junior Athletics Championship 2018. Yes, you are absolutely right. She is Hima Das. So like this, we have completed this exercise also. Now, let's move to the next. So here is our exercise number 19. Football World Cup 2018. Here we have to answer these following exercises based on Football World Cup 2018. So let's see. Our first exercise is state whether these sentences about the FIFA World Cup 2018 are true or false. Let's see our first one. This was the 21st FIFA World Cup since the tournament started in Uruguay in 1930. This statement is true. It was 21st FIFA World Cup. Now let's see our second one. The official song of the FIFA World Cup 2018 was written by US singer Will Smith. It is false. The official song of FIFA World Cup 2018 was Live It Up. And it is a song by American singer Nicky Jam featuring American rapper Will Smith. Now let's see our third one. The FIFA Football World Cup 2018 trophy was won by Germany. It is also false. The FIFA Football World Cup 2018 was won by France. Now, let's see. Number 4. Croatia reached to the finals of the FIFA World Cup for the very first time in 2018. Yes, it is true. Let's see. Fifth one. Italy could not qualify to play in the World Cup 2018 for the first time since 1958. This is also true. So write T here. Now we'll see our exercise number B. Match the following players to their achievements in the FIFA World Cup 2018. So the first one is Golden Ball Award for being the best player of the World Cup. This award was won by Luka Modric. It is given in option 6. 
So we'll write here six. Now the next one is Golden Boot Award for scoring highest number of goals. This award won by Harry Kane, and this is given in option number four. So write here four. Now we'll see next question. Scored four goals in the tournament was the man of the match in the finals. He was Antoine Griezmann. And it is given in option three. So write here three. Now let's see question number D. This Brazilian player made highest number of attempts at the goal. The answer is Neymar. It is given in option five. Now our next one is got the Golden Glove Award for being the best goalkeeper. The answer is. Chibo Kozhuva and it is given in option number 2. So write here 2. Now let's see the last one. Belgian player who scored 4 goals in the tournament for his team. The answer is Romlu Lukaku. It is given in option 1. So write here 1. So, with this we have completed this exercise also. Now we will move to the last exercise of this unit. So, here is our last exercise that is exercise number 20 Asian Games 2018. Here we have to answer the following exercises based on the Asian Games 2018. So, let's see our first exercise. Some statements about the 18th Asian Games 2018 are given below. Write T against the true statements and F against the statements that are false. So let us start with our first question. The 18th Asian Games were started on 18th of August and ended on 2nd September 2018. This is True. Now our second one is countries from across the world participated in the games. This statement is false. In Asian games only the Asian countries can participate. Let's see our third one. These were the first Asian games to be held in two different cities Jakarta and Palembang. Yes, this is true. This game was held in two cities of Indonesia. Let's see our question number four. Energy of Asia was the theme of the 18th Asian Games. Yes, this is also true. Now let's see our question number five. Athlete Neeraj Chopra was the flag bearer of the Indian Contingent at the opening ceremony. Yes, this is also true. Now, let's see question number 6. Wrestler Bajrang Punya won the first gold medal for India at the Asian Games. Yes, this is true. Now, let's see question number 7. China topped the medal tally while South Korea got the second spot. No, it is false. China was the first but Japan was at the second position. So write here F. Now let's see the last one. Rikako Aiki, a Japanese swimmer was declared as the most valuable player of the Asian Games 2018. Yes, it is true. After winning 6 gold and 2 silver medals, he was declared as the most valuable player. Now, we will see our next exercise given on the same page. Complete these sentences using the words given in the help box. So, let's see our first fill in the blanks. The 18th Asian Games were organized in Indonesia. So, write it here. Now, let's see our question number 2. Japanese swimmer Rikako Aiki won 
dash gold and two silver medals at the games. He won six gold in Asian Games 2018. Now let's see the next one. Indian hockey team scored dash goals in a match against Hong Kong to make an Asian Games record. The answer is 26. Now our next one is Dash was the oldest Indian player who won a gold medal in the bridge event with his partner Shivnath Sarkar. The answer is Pranab Bardhan. Now we'll see the last question. Indian team comprising of Dash players won the gold medal in men's quadruple skull throwing boat competition. The answer is 4. So now with this we have completed all the exercises of unit 3. Now we'll move to our next segment. So scholars now we have reached to our segment of know your country. Today in this segment we will know about a magnetic hill in our country, India. So let's see. Mysterious anti-gravity hills in Ladakh, that is magnetic hills. With the anti-gravitational effect, this is the only magnetic hill in India. Landmarked by a yellow notice board that spells out instructions and asks you, place your car on neutral gear, right on the spot marked by white paint. This one will leave you in surprise as your car will begin to move up hills on its own. Located at a distance of 30 km from Leh City on the Leh Kargil Highway is a small stretch of road that defies the phenomena of gravity. The reason is the magnetic hill that pulls a stationary vehicle upwards. Famous as the magnetic hill in Ladakh, it is a major tourist attraction in the valley. Now we'll move to our next segment that is of current affairs. So scholars, here is your segment of current affairs. Let's see what is today in this segment. The Skyroot Aerospace, a space tech startup, has successfully test fired an upper stage rocket engine Raman. With this, Skyroot Aerospace has become the first Indian private firm to exhibit the potential to build a homegrown rocket engine. Raman is a 3D printed rocket engine which has been named after Nobel Laureate C.V. Raman. Skyroot Aerospace expects to launch its first rocket which can hurl satellites of 250 to 700 kgs into a lower earth orbit by December 2021. These developments from the private players has become possible after the Union Cabinet's approval of private player participation in space in June 2020. So scholars, with this we come to end of this video. I hope you liked it and understood it well. Goodbye scholars. Take care.